I'm Francisca Green. I am the Technical Strategy Officer at Poplar Harker within the Asset Management team. My name is Rhapsody Yells. I work at Poplar Harker as a Project Officer within the Business Support team. wanted to be able to empower the residents to be able to make important decisions regarding the well-being of themselves and their homes. The main advantages of having these devices are that a resident can use the app to access information about their home and make changes where it's in their power to do so to improve the quality of their home, their health and hopefully save money. The implementation of the Internet of Things project firstly involved a few pilots, starting off with specific uh, flats that we knew had issues with mould and damp. For the second part of the pilot, we installed devices in 40 different homes and these were homes of residents that come forward to us to sign up for them specifically. We are hoping that by um, rolling these devices out initially to the people who have proactively signed up for them and are already keen, hopefully they will understand the benefits um, and the changes that this can make to their lifestyle and then they can act as champions for other residents who are maybe a little bit more sceptical. One thing that we found really helpful is combining the installation um, with existing visits. This helps with access, which we know can sometimes be an issue, but it also will save on costs because you're only doing one visit basically. So we're trying to combine these with our electrical safety testing program. The advice I would give to other housing associations looking to implement similar Internet of Things projects would be to be clear with residents. It's really important to be clear about how the information is being used, be clear about what we have access to so that we ensure that there's trust. One aspect of implementation was ensuring that we were going out into the community and making sure that they understood the technology and how it worked. And one way we did this was by working with ACO and Homelink. And we brought in a bus, the ACO bus, into Crisp Street Market. And we set it up with all the different devices so that residents could come and they could look at them, they could feel them, and they could talk to all the experts who know everything about them so that they had a really good understanding of what was being monitored, how this can help them, how we're going to use this information. We are hoping eventually to roll this out to all of our tenanted stock, which is around 6,000 properties. And once we've done so, what we really want to be doing is using the data to inform our larger scale maintenance and cyclical programs. So whatever the problem is specific to a certain block, we will be able to take the correct measures and we will be able to base this on data and statistics and numbers that we've been able to prove. So it means that everything that we're doing, we're doing a bit more informed in terms of our investments into this larger scale maintenance.